วัสดีค่ะเอวิวัน Today I will show you a Thai pickled egg recipe. This is a very easy recipe that consists of pickled egg yolk in soy sauce. And of course, as with most Thai recipes, it will be spicy by chilies. We are going to start with the sauce that we will use to marinate the yolks. The first things we need are white vinegar, soy sauce, and white sugar. After putting everything into a pot, we will bring it to simmer on low heat for 5 minutes until the sugar is dissolved. During that time, we are going to take care of green onion and chilies. I will finally chop the green onion for about 3 tablespoons, then put it on a plate. Next, I'm going to cut the chili in length half, then slice it. Like this, I will have small pieces of chilies to eat with the yolk, then put it with the green onion. 5 minutes pass, the sauce is done. But we will let it cool down on the side first. And now, we are going to prepare the eggs. During this step, we will separate the egg white and the yolk. As we know, for this recipe, we will not cook the yolks, but we will marinate them in soy sauce just like that. So, it's very important to make sure we buy good eggs. If possible, it's best to have a salmonella free sticker on the box. I'm really not sure where this recipe comes from in the first place. Maybe Japan or Korea? If you guys know, tell me in the comment. But to make it more Thai style fusion, I will show you how to make a spicy and sour sauce to eat with this dish later on. For now, we will ladle the sauce in a container very, very gently to not break the yolks. I already break 5 yolks, but shh. <laughs> After the sauce, we will follow with chopped green onion and most importantly, chopped chilies. Are we spicy lovers or not? Then, I use chopstick to spread the chilies around in the sauce. After that, I close the container well and bring it to a fridge, then leave it for 2 days. Now two days have passed, so let's start making the spicy and sour sauce. We are going to slice the garlic, chop the cilantro root, and cut the chilies. Then put them into a blender and blend them. It's not necessary to blend until it's 100% smooth. Having some chunks left like this is great. Then we will bring the chili paste into a mixing bowl. Now, add white sugar and fish sauce, then stir to mix until the sugar is dissolved. Once the sugar is fully melted, we are going to add fresh lamb juice, then give it a mix and taste a little bit to add just the taste by our liking. When it's good for you, set the sauce aside and start to thinly slice some shallot to add into the spicy sauce. This shallot addition will give a really nice flavor and fragrance. I almost forgot to add some chopped cilantro and let's give it one last mix. And now, we are going to go grab our yolk eggs from the fridge. Let's see how it's going to look like. It looks very chewy. Actually, the longer you keep it in the fridge, the chewier it is. So if you like the yolk still running, we should totally fine too. 6 to 8 hours are enough. Okay, let's see now how I like to serve it. Bring the yolk to hot steamed jasmine rice like this. Put the spicy and sour sauce on top of the yolk. Mmm, looks so yummy. I will try now. And for the taste itself, it's yummy salty and fatty. Then, the sauce gives more flavors, spiciness, sourness, and sweetness. In one bite, we get all flavors. This dish is really tasty. If you like this recipe and don't want to miss the next ones, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Also, chop that like button. Thank you for watching. See you next time. 
ขอบคุณค่ะบ๊ายบาย